So we're up in uh, SBG Tala, straight up last gym, and I'm here with Johnny, and he's going to give me a bit of training to uh, help me uh, deal with Paddy Burns. Yes. Sir. So what's what's on the agenda? Ah, we're going to do a little bit of head movement drills today, and just going to have some fun as well. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. the training. Well, because that's the most important. Exactly. That's the most important thing here. Uh, like I said, uh, Steve, I got in contact in here, asked me what I like to train him or help him out, give him a dig out for this, and oh, it's quite pleasure to do it. So. Here Thank you are. so much, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, so um, yeah, the nerves are playing up now. The nerves yeah, getting to okay. it, but and basically, uh, I've been in the game now for over twelve years in mixed martial arts. Um, I fought all over the world. I fought in China, fought in Jordan, in the Middle East. Uh, I fought for Bellator. I fought for Cage Warriors. You name it, I've done it. And now I'm at the stage in my life now where I'm actually coaching. I'm coaching a lot of guys here and. Yeah, I'm a personal trainer. Yeah, life is good. I have a baby on the way, and here we are. I have zero fight experience outside of uh, violent alcohol-induced clashes outside Supermax in Air Square, 3 o'clock on a Saturday morning, uh, running from my dad and my mom when I was bold as a kid. So that's my ducking and diving experience. Uh, so yeah, just for this fight, yeah, never never fought. Done a bit of karate when I was young, done, done a bit of boxing when I was young. So yeah, when Paddy agreed to do this fight, it was like, yeah, shit, I need to get myself in uh, some sort of shape and some sort of training. Yeah, so I've done a bit of, a bit with Pete Taylor, a bit with uh, the lads in Crumlin Boxing Club. So now I'm with Johnny, and as he said, to get a different experience and outside of boxing, a bit more MMA style. So just to be, just to be ready to rock. Johnny's got you covered. <laughs> Johnny's got you covered. You should have told us that before. <laughs> Mother of Christ. Steve on Mayweather. Really, to be honest, I'm mainly just his support. So even when he's starting to feel tired and stuff like that, just to build him up and up and up, and then also to calm him down when he's like overthinking everything and it's like, oh God, what have I got myself into? And just keep reminding him what he's doing it for. That's really it. It's absolutely amazing. Like, I mean, just what he's doing for the charity alone is crazy. I mean, Ray's in what, 30 something grand now? That's insane. In the space, what, two months, I think? That's absolutely amazing. And hopefully as time goes on and on, we'll get more donations, donations, donations. And even just to see the smile on his face every time he gets a big donation, he's like, oh my God. <laughs> like when he got Conor McGregor's 10 grand. Yeah. He was downstairs in the kitchen and I just hear a scream that sounded like a little girl. <laughs> Literally going, oh my God, oh my God. Conor McGregor just donated 10 grand. And I was like, go away. Somebody's having me on now. That's, and he goes, no, I just checked on GoFundMe. He donated 10 grand. It's like, that's absolutely amazing. That week is going to be mental. We are going to be stressed. I'm probably, oh, I don't even want to think about it, to be honest with you. But yeah, myself and himself are going to be completely stressed all that week. But once we're at the night, it's going to be absolutely amazing. David, what do you think of Paddy now coming into this fight? Well, it's kind of, it's kind of weird when you think about it because it's almost win-win for me, isn't it? Because like, if I lose, I still win because I, I took on a fucking Olympic box. And if I win, I really, really win. But like, you know, in all honesty, fair play to Paddy for like taking on. Because a lot of people would be like, oh, here, I'm not getting in the ring. Or like, you know, punching a fella in a wheelchair. Whereas Paddy is like, sure, we are the same as every other cunt. Like, I don't care. You know what I mean? So like, he doesn't see, you know, he doesn't see disability as, you know, being a, as what a, would you call it? A hamper. Or a, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's like, yeah, you're just human like the rest of us. I'll punch you if you want to be punched. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's mad. So. Yeah, well, basically, um, it turns out Steve was a fan of my music, and we got talking a while ago about doing some music together, and then uh, this event came up, and uh, I recorded about a 10 or 15 second demo of a tune that was to be Steve O's entrance song, and um, I sent it to him, and he said, that's not my entrance song. He said, that's the theme song for the event. So I'm absolutely delighted. So, um, he had organized a press conference, and up and go away. I had eight days to 
write the song, record a song, get it mixed and mastered, learn it off your heart for the event. The song's called Let's Get Ready. And um, yeah, as I said, it's, pr it's produced by Freak Show Beats, who's from uh, Tipperary. Yeah. So it's all it's all home homemade. The main reason is, you know, it's for a good cause. It's an aid of the Irish Wheelchair Association, and we're, we're all trying to raise as, as much as much money as we can. And that's another thing. The song, all the proceeds from the song, and um, you know, it's all going towards the Irish Wheelchair Association as well. So I need the stream, the streams, boys, downloads, purchases, all of that. Oh, like every little makes a big difference. So perfect. Download Thank the you song. Very much. This is it, like that, and hit, hit them in like that. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, brother, you get there with that. Yes, big time. Come on, later, my steps are coming. And then, is that it? Yeah, mate, that's it. And when I win, then if I do that, definitely, definitely. Are you from Dublin? I am. Do you have any gear? <laughs> fighting gear, yeah, man. I'm talking about fighting for boxing gloves and things. Ah, yeah, I think I can arrange that for you. Uh, Dublin people are always good at getting gear. Who's the fuck? Ha 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 ha.